after you uh, went through orientation, you're going to meet with your assigned advisor. And if you need to make an appointment with your assigned advisor, which all new students do, um, then call 786-2224. You also want to make sure that you arrive on time to your appointment and make sure that you come prepared with questions regarding your program of study and the courses you should take. You can participate in your appointment by sharing concerns, questions, issues, or just even comments that you have on your area of study. And then you want to take final responsibility by making sure that you are meeting the requirements for your program. And last of all, you want to make sure that you're checking your Lincoln Land email daily to make sure that you're staying up to date with what's going on here on campus. To get to your advising appointment, you will go to Menard Hall, enter through the A. Lincoln Commons, take a right, and then a left into the Student Services Center. Walk down the hall, and on the left, you'll see the advising and counseling area. Enter through the double doors and then sign in at the front desk. When you sign in, you'll need to indicate whether you have an appointment or not. All new students are required to make an appointment so they'll have adequate time to meet with their advisor. After you've signed in, you'll take a seat and wait for the receptionist to call you up for your student ID number and other information. Make sure you have your student ID number ready. The receptionist will likely give you a survey. You can fill that out while you're waiting for your advisor to call you back for your appointment. Your advisor then will call you back and you'll get to plan to succeed for your first semester at Lincoln Land Community College. Your advisor will help you in that initial meeting, pick out which courses that are going to be in line with your goals, and then register and pay using WebAdvisor, which is our online course registration system. And that's where you can pay as well. And that is how you get to the starting line. It's just the starting line, though. What is next is some additional important choices to not only start well, but also make progress and eventually get to that end goal, that success point that you're looking for to graduate with your degree or certificate.